good morning good morning again overcomers i pray and hope that you are doing well again put on the armor the days are evil yes this morning devotional topic zooming on putting on the armor the days are evil and i want to read from Ephesians 6 13 through to 17 and it reads wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God that he may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand stand therefore having your loins girt about with fruit and having the breast plate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith wherewith wherewith he shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god let us pray O oh, loving kind compassionate father i want to give you glory honor and praise again for giving us the breath of life even when we do not deserve it and as we have come to live in a days that is even more evil than we would have thought we ask now that you will help us to stand within this day that you'll be with us through our fiery furnace that you will cover each and every one who is listening this morning or whatever time of day that they're listening that you'll be their guide that you'll be their shield and that you'll be their defense against the evil ones all these and other unmentioned mercies i humble ask in your son's jesus name amen yes put on the armor the days are evil so as we can see and this 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 passage of scripture is taken from Ephesians. it was written by paul and paul was truly a man of god who was endowed with the divine revelation through the gift of word of knowledge paul knew that as christian we will all have our evil days in our life paul himself um encountered his evil day evil days he was scorched he was torn he was flogged he was thrown into prisons is and one of his worst days came when he was beheaded so as christian we will all face our evil days but we have to ensure that we are anchored in christ so that whenever the evil days come that christ will help us to go through our evil days even jesus himself our lord jesus also faced his worst evil day when he was caught and crucified and all the men of God in the Old Testament um, my overcomer friends had their encounters of evil days but you see every Christian will as I said earlier face that evil day and the scripture tells that we are supposed to put on the, the the armor of christ in order to withstand see we must put on the whole armor of god the whole armor is the belt of truth breastplate of righteousness the boot of preparation of the gospel of peace shield of faith the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit ephesians 6 14 to 17 tell us that putting on the whole armor of God is the only the only sure way to overcome 
or an evil day and win victory over the devil and his court of darkness you see virgin if you leave you and i leave out any of the armor we will face defeat in that particular area of our life in a particular area of our life that could affect all other area of our life so we cannot afford to miss out to, to, to forget or to left off any of the protective gear less the devil is waiting to to, to 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 destroy us see so i want to say to you this morning be wise be wise and you and i shall overcome all our battles we will win all our battles once we are wise once we do not neglect to keep on to keep on the protective gears to keep on the protective gears then we will able to overcome we will able to withstand with christ so we should keep on the breastplate of righteousness we should shun our feet with the preparation of the gospel of feet the shield of faith the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit these are our protective gear and i do hope and pray that you will have a beautiful day and remember that you are an overcomer and you can only overcome with christ put on the armor the days are evil and we can see it before our very eyes be blessed remember that god love you and i love you